Today is February 19th. It's actually my grandmother's birthday. So happy birthday to my grandma. Um, this week I'm just gonna vlog me going to school. Um, just to show y'all like a week in my life as a college student. Um, so yeah, I'm about to brush my teeth and get ready for class and yeah. I wanted to give y'all a better look at the fit. Um, yeah. I'm gonna let y'all see the fit every day before we leave the house. Facts. Let's go before we be late. So we made it in the car. I'm letting my car um, warm up. It's cold out here. <laughs> I don't know why it's still cold. I guess uh, it's just February, but in Mississippi, it always seemed like it's starting to heat up and then it'd be cold. So, or either it'd be hot in the morning, cold at night. You can just never win here. But um, the time is 8.36. I'm going to try to pull up by 8.40 so I can make the class right at 9. Um, yeah, because we don't want to be late. Got to be a star student. <laughs> star student. But I got a question. Um, this question, preferably for the men. But do y'all shave under your armpits? Because me personally, I don't think nothing wrong with that. I think that's like borderline good hygiene for males. But you know, a lot of people be stereotyping or you know have these little scenarios that men shouldn't shave this men shouldn't shave that men should do this men should do that now, honestly i feel like people be wanting men to be nasty <laughs> that's just me but i personally don't think nothing is wrong with shaving your armpits because for one hair traps odors and if you shave you don't really have them you don't really gotta worry about odors and it's how you smell deodorant so listen if you got the whole jungle up under your arm, when you lift it up, when you lift it up, you see everything in the, in the, in the, in the world. Shave your armpits. Ain't nothing wrong with it, brother. Shave your armpits, boy. All right, bye, y'all. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna pull off. I'll see y'all once we make it to the, um, to class. All in my video. Alright y'all, so I just made it to class. I think it's actually nine o'clock like right now on the dot. So I'm about to hit in here. So yeah, let's go. All right, y'all, so I'm just now leaving class. Class was, it was, it was all right. It wasn't as good as it normally is, but we were just reviewing packages, so we wasn't doing much. Um, I just got finished talking to one of my friends about some work and stuff in the class. And yeah, I got a film tomorrow for class. So I'm gonna bring y'all with me to do that. And now I'm gonna go to my grandma's house so I can say, so I can say happy birthday to her and I gotta head to work. But yeah, let's go. Wait, I want to give y'all more details. We um we review. So what we do is basically we go out, we get an assignment, we have to film and edit our assignment, our packages, whether it's a news package, general package, um, voiceover package, um, I mean not voiceover, natural sound package or whatever. And then when we come back to class on that Monday, it's normally due Friday, then we come to class Monday and Wednesday and we review the packages. So that's what we did today. Since we was on our trip, he gave me and uh, another band student, Zarek, some extra time to do our packages. So our packages are due Wednesday. Hopefully he reviews our package Wednesday so I can show y'all. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> All right, so I just left work and made it to practice. Hey y'all, it's <laughs> us. We're at theater practice right now because we got a play coming up um, on the 28th through uh, the March 2nd. March 2nd? 
4th, March 4th. Come see us. Yes, you know, almost made, even though it's gonna be out like a, a three weeks after the play, but yeah, come see us. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, it's already happened and we ate. Yeah, yeah, ate down. Yeah. <laughs> Alright y'all, so today we giving, we giving M8 <laughs> with the orange. But you know you can never go wrong with a flannel. I don't make sure y'all the, the full fit. So this is the full fit, you know, nothing much. But right now, we about to go fix this tea so we can head out. What's up, y'all? So I just made it to class. I'm sitting outside of the E Center, so I can record this because, it... anyway. So um, work was cool. Now I'm in class. My teacher's really cool, but his class so boring. <laughs> like I'm really not looking forward to going to this class, but you know I gotta do what I gotta do to um, get this degree. Yo, back big. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Gotta put down them David cakes. Okay, y'all. So, um, right now we're in the AAC. I'm finna film this package um, for school, for done. And yeah, I'm finna show y'all the behind the scenes process of me filming for class. So, let's go. I don't know if this is recording or not, but it's how it is. Hey, you guys. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, but Jordan has me out at 7.38. I have not eaten or ate all day. I've been really busy today. I've been having class and stuff. Trying to graduate on time, May 4th. I hope he bring y'all to my graduation. Basically, he put his work in so we can get this interview for his class done. I'm supposed to be running up the stairs and I'm supposed to be answering questions. So, we'll see how it go. Jonathan was a part of the chicken here at Jackson State University for the first three years of his college career. As his senior year came around, he decided to focus more on school but still keep his athletic scene. So, your first question is going to be why is it important to keep your your stamina and your build the whole season. So, you Donovan was a part of the cheer team here at Jackson State University for the first three years of his college career. As his senior year rolled around, he decided to focus on his books and step away from cheer, but still keep his athletic physique. It is important for me to stay in shape and stay right physically and mentally just because you never know what life throws for you and I just am a big advocate of just being healthy for myself. Life without cheer for me at first it was like a fish out of water because you never know what's out there unless you're like out there. My favorite part about cheer was honestly connecting to the younger and the older crowds being that we're in a world where a lot of people are still close-minded. A lot of adults and a lot of kids have stopped me and said, oh, you're my inspiration or you made me change my mind about a lot of things. You made me change my perspective and all because of me performing and all because of me leading all on the field changed somebody's perspective or changed their viewpoint on life. And I feel like that's the biggest reward of it all is just change your perceptions in a positive way. Reporting for Jesu Television, Jalen Thornton. Good morning, YouTube. Um, today is Wednesday, um, I believe February 21st. I was kind of excited for the day because on Wednesdays in my department we dress up. So I wanted to see that. That's going to really be, you know, just something, some content. But class got canceled. And I'm pissed. I'm, only, I'm not pissed because class got canceled. Like, I love stuff like that. 
I'm only mad because I wasn't able to turn in my equipment last night, so I gotta drive all the way to the east end to turn in my equipment. When I could have slept in, I could have slept in. But we ain't tripping, you know. It's I'm blessed to see another day, so I'm definitely thankful. But we finna go turn in this equipment, and then we come back home, and we gonna take us a nap. We gonna take us a nap, all right? Let's go. So I laid down for a little bit. I really wasn't able to take no nap, but I still laid down and got a little bit of rest. So I was thankful for that. But right now I'm gonna make my tea and kind of tell y'all like what's the plans for the rest of the day. And it's gonna be the tea I'm drinking today. So the plans now is I got dressed for work. I'm about to head to work. Um, I'm gonna get food. I'm gonna stop and get food before I go to work. Not sure what I'm gonna get. Well, never mind. I got um, a gift card for some pizza or something. I'm gonna go get some pizza. And um, then I'm gonna head to work. And then after work, I got class, concert class, and then I have band practice. So I'm gonna try to get some clips of that. It's not gonna be like an in depth band um, practice video because it's a whole vlog for the week. And that'll just make the video too long. So I'm gonna do that. And we also got a game Saturday. So I'm gonna try to get some clips of that and put that in the video as well. And yeah, so that's basically like the rundown of the day. And we're gonna do that here. Yeah, y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. All right, y'all, so um, we just made it downtown. We about to do a little, a little mini photo shoot for um, Boo Man. And yeah, I think I'm gonna get some right here. There's some mo another area down there that I wanna get. And yeah, I forgot to film the last photo shoot from these pictures that I'm gonna put up on the screen right here. But I'm gonna make sure I record this one for y'all. So yeah, let's go. What's up y'all? So, we just finished. It's a wrap. The photos look really nice. Um, follow me on Instagram at major.j, M-A-J-O-R dot J-A-Y-Y-Y so y'all can see the pictures. Like the pictures, cause I'm gonna show y'all the pictures anyway, but so y'all can like the pictures, cause support on all platforms. And follow our month, promote your pages. Um, follow my photography page at Customs not photography with a K. The photography is F O T O photography. Um, you can follow my my other business page at Armand Customs A R M A N D dot underscore Customs K U S T O M Z. 
And follow my main page if y'all want to. It don't matter. But y'all can't. It don't matter because he's going he to tag me. So if you're not tuning in to Jelly by TV, who are you tuning in? Who are you tuning in to? Get up. Ah! <laughs> too. Good morning. Um, another another night with like less than four hours of sleep. So this is the real though. So I'm blessed. Definitely thankful to be up. It's another day. Some slight, some slight. Okay, okay. Class of 23.